Honey, how was your first day? I see you made a new friend. This is Jess. Is it okay if she comes over later? Uh, sure. I mean, as long as your mom is... Hey, sweetheart. Oh, oh my goodness. I missed you. <laughs> I missed you, too. Uh, excuse me, are you her nanny? Um, no. Uh, why? <laughs> uh, are you the babysitter or the maid? How do you know this girl? Uh, well, if you really have to know, she's my daughter. Come on, sweetheart, let's go home. Listen, you can talk to me. Do you know where your mom is? Did you not just hear me? I just said I'm her mom. I adopted her. Unless you've got some paperwork to convince me, this girl isn't going anywhere. Security, come quick. Is there a problem? This woman is trying to kidnap this girl. Wow, uh, you know, you really shouldn't be so quick to judge. Come on, sweetheart, let's go. No, no, no. I'm sorry, I can't let you leave. What's your name? It's Jess. Jess Smith. Okay, and what's your name, ma'am? I cannot believe this is happening again. I am so sorry, sweetie. It's Ebony. Ebony Jones. See? They don't even have the same last name. How could she be her mother? She is clearly lying. I just told you that I adopted her. Smith is her birth name. Oh, you gotta do something. Well, do you have any photo identification? I mean, you see my photo right there. Isn't that enough? Fine. Here. Now, can I take my daughter home? Okay, uh, sorry for the mix-up. You're good to go. Oh. She's the legal guardian. Have a nice day. Come on, sir. Oh, that's unfortunate. Excuse me? I was just saying that's unfortunate that Jess got adopted by you. She belongs in a white family. She would be loved more by her own people. You know, I don't know about you, but in my household, love has no color and nothing has stopped me from loving Jess as my own child. You see, earlier, you asked me if I was Jess's nanny. Well, I was, and more. Jess's mom and I were good friends, and I looked after Jess like she was my own child. And that's why her mom loved me so much. Little did I know that Jess's mom was hiding a secret. I'll never forget the day that she told me she had been battling cancer for months and only had a few weeks left to live. All I could do was cry. The next morning, as I sat there still in shock from the news, Justice Mom came to me and asked me, to make one of the hardest decisions that I would ever have to make in my life. She asked me if I would take care of Jess after she was gone. I thought for a second, knowing the challenges that I would face as a black mom raising a white baby, but knowing it was the right thing to do, I said yes. So you see, I may not be the same color as Jess, but that does not mean that I have loved her any differently. 
Don't cry, Mom. I love you so much. I love you too, sweetheart. Wait. I am so sorry for everything. You sound like such a great mom. And I, I'm so sorry that I judged you. You were right. Love has no color. Can you please, please forgive me? Okay. And honestly, this happens to us all the time. It's hard and it hurts. So we appreciate your apology. Does this mean Jess can still come over later? <sighs> Only if Ebony promises to come too. We would love to have you both over for dinner. Please, Mom, can we go? Sure, honey. Hey Darman fam, make sure to subscribe to my channels and check out this next video. I know you're gonna love it. You got any drugs on you? I just feel bad that- uh, Money, huh? Some people have to go through a hard time- No, I don't. Based on the color of their skin. He doesn't have anything. Leave him alone. Mom, help! Officer, what's going on? Ma'am, do you know this boy? He's my son.